Hello and welcome! In my view, everyone should be able to back up their games, whether it's a physical title or a digital one. And now since I can run Homebrew on my Nintendo Wii U, I'll be showing you the current two ways that you can back up your Wii U games and what you can do with them once they've been backed up. Right after a quick message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. If you're looking for a one-stop shop for a replacement stylus for your Nintendo DS and 3DS systems, why not visit the 16-Bit Store? We've designed and 3D printed our own styluses from the original Nintendo DS all the way to the new Nintendo 3DS. So if you're in the market for a replacement stylus, why not visit the 16-Bit Store today? And if you use offer code 16BITREVIEW on Etsy, you'll get 15% off your order when you buy two items or more. As always with these backup guides, this is for backing up your games. This doesn't mean that you can share them with your friends or distribute them online, as that is piracy and it is illegal. If you want more information about backups, please watch our video about the subject or extra credits video about it. Now before we back up any of our Wii U games or reinstall Wii U games, I would highly advise you to back up your internal system tickets before starting. The Homebrew app Tick2SD is recommended as it is quick and easy to use. The reason you need to back up these files is if something goes wrong between backing up your game and installing your backup titles, you can always recover and restore your security tickets from this backup. The reason I'm stressing this is because I had an issue when I backed up my copy of Shovel Knight and I tried to reinstall the game unofficially, which not just broke my ticket, but also prevented me from reinstalling the game after re-downloading it from the Nintendo eShop. It wasn't until I restored my tickets through the FTPU Everywhere tool that I was able to reinstall Shovel Knight from the eShop. So please back up your tickets before starting as you have been warned. So, how do you back up your Wii U games? Well, first, you'll need to be able to run Homebrew on your Wii U. I'm using the Tremuzu payload. And you also need to be able to run a piece of Homebrew called Dumpling. Dumpling is a brilliant piece of software since it backs up not just your games, but also any update files for said games, its save files, and any DLC that you've purchased that's installed to your system with the press of one button. Now, the main goal for Dumpling isn't to make an installable package that's usable on the Wii U, but rather to make an installable package that's usable in the Simu emulator or any other Wii U emulator. And using Dumpling is as easy as launching the app from the Homebrew channel finding the game you wish to back up, whether it's a disc or a physical game, and starting the backup for it. Do note that the backup times are lengthy depending on the install time and the medium you're backing it up from. Disc Wii U games are notoriously long. At the time of writing, Dumpling is capable of backing up Wii U disc titles, Wii U eShop games, and Wii U virtual console titles for everything but the Wii. Even if you were to use Dumpling to dump the internal storage, it will not back up your Wii titles. And from what I can tell, this is because of the latest Wii U firmware. I personally even tried to use FTP software to move the Wii disk images over to my computer, and I just got nothing but failure. With the issues with the Wii titles to one side, now that you've backed up almost all of your games with Dumpling, what can you actually do with it? Well, if you have an emulator like Simu, you can install the packages to the emulator and you can play your Wii U games on your computer. 
Or, if you have a home piece of homebrew called Bloodline, you can run some of your Wii U games on it. Uh, compatibility is hit or miss at the moment, uh, from what I last checked. It might be uh, more compatible now, or newer methods might be available later. I don't know. Personally, the main reason why I backed up these titles was so that I can explore the game's files to see how they were made, as well as to extract eShop ROMs. The reason we are able to explore the files and extract the eShop ROMs is because when Dumpling dumps the game, it dumps it in the unencrypted form. And because these games are unencrypted, it does mean that the Wii U can't really reinstall the packages to your internal or USB storage without re-encrypting them. Now there is homebrew to re-encrypt the U software, but as of now I've had no success with both digital and physical Wii U games created with Dumpling. However, that's not to say that's impossible to back up your games and install it to your system, as there is another piece of Wii U homebrew that can dump your games into an installable package called a WUP. And this piece of homebrew is called Disk to App. It's very straightforward to use, very easy to use. And when the backup has been created, just use another piece of homebrew software called WUP Installer G2X to install the package to your Wii U. Now please be aware that there are multiple homebrew apps that can do the same job as WUP Installer G2X. I actually followed an older guide that used a UP Installer Mod Y when I installed my copy of Splatoon. And though the game installed fine and the homebrew worked perfectly, because uh, WUP Installer Mod Y was designed for an older payload, when the app tried to return me to the homebrew channel once it finished uh, installing my game, it actually crashed my Wii U. So. Uh, if you are looking for homebrew, always check to see which is the most current method for backing things up. Don't just rely on a, let's say, a YouTube video guide to determine how to do it, as the methods might have changed as the uh, entry point to homebrew might have changed with it. Now, I do believe there is a proper way for a dumpling backup to be converted into an encrypted WUP app. And even though I did find a way to make them, I wasn't able to install it. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is what caused issues with my copy of Shovel Knight when I tried to reinstall it officially. Please back up your tickets. That's the only way I was able to recover my Wii U without formatting it. I'm just hopeful that in the future I will be able to revisit this and I'll be able to convert a dumpling backup or perhaps there's a new backup format that will be able to work in emulators and be installable to the uh, Wii U, much like how the CIA files work with the 3DS. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have yourselves a good day, thank you ever so much for watching this video, and as always, take care.